Hello YouTube, it's Ryan here with Hobbies of Man once again, and today we're going to be talking about Sakamoto Days. We're going to be doing a first impressions review on the first volume. The author of Sakamoto Days is Yuto Suzuki, and the publisher is Viz. I read it through the Viz Shonen Jump app. Uh, the, 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 the manga has recently just released uh, this month, and I was going to buy it, but then I decided not to because I thought, well, I already have access to it. Let me read it, and if I like it, I'll buy it. And I did like it, but not enough to purchase it because, you know, my, my idea with most of these Shonen Jump titles is that unless I particularly love it and it's either currently releasing or doesn't have that many volumes, there's no reason for me to actively buy it because I already pay for the Shonen Jump app. It cost like a quarter of what it cost to buy a coffee at like uh, Starbucks. And I have access to all of these manga. I can read them at any time whenever I want to. So um, unless it's a very specific manga, I don't really want to buy them. Like I haven't bought Naruto or One Piece or Bleach because they're so big and it's going to take a long time. I also haven't bought anything uh, like Black Clover or My Hero Academia, even though I love them um, because of the same reason. They're just too large. But things like Kaijin and Braid and Mashal which are only currently releasing and they're not really that far into the story and I particularly like as well, um, are easy to kind of justify collecting uh, even though I already have access to them, right? So, um, Sakamoto Days uh, could fall under this um, this kind of idea as well, but I didn't like it enough to buy it, so there you go. The demographic is shonen and the genres are action and comedy and this does not currently have an adaptation because it's just too new of a series. Um, and the premise is basically that there's this top assassin, he's the best assassin in Japan, and he falls in love, and he quits, and now he runs a convenience store, he's uh, got a dad bod now, and he's kind of a slightly older than he was before, and uh, he kind of let himself go, uh, and people are after him, uh, the older, uh, or the people that he used to work with, the old people he used to work with, now want him dead, because he left the service without, you know, doing it properly, basically, or because he left at all I, I can't remember exactly and so he is being uh, hunted and what happens is that we get to see this guy who still actually is quite able and he's actually still probably the best uh hitman in all of japan uh, have to deal with all these people that are going after him and uh, this first volume mostly focuses on him like kind of gathering his little team of people um this one guy that used to work with him uh, came after him and then he beat him you know Sakamoto beat him so this guy was like please take me under your wing Mr. Sakamoto once again and so he now works at his convenience store and then later in the story they they um they go to a Chinatown area in order to buy specific uh ingredients and they run across this um triad girl that's trying to fight off these Yakuza and she joins the group as well and uh, it's pretty good it's pretty similar to Spy Family actually it kind of has a similar vibe even if it's not exactly the same kind of idea um and it's it's good and it's enjoyable but i didn't really find it to be as good and as enjoyable as everyone else made it out to be and, and i think partially i didn't like it as much as i thought i would because there was huge expectations on this story because everyone loves it but i didn't particularly like it like i enjoyed it but it wasn't like it didn't live up to the hype so now i kind of have a little bit of disdain for it um, which I know it sounds stupid and, and the fact that I'm aware it makes it kind of worse, but I mean, that's just how it is. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I, I don't want to buy it. I'll just continue to read it on the, on the app, uh, whenever I feel like it. And, um, the art style is good, but it's not my favorite. And the one thing I really disliked is that, you know, one of the main attractions of the series is that it goes from very calm and kind of slice of lifey to crazy fast paced action scenes. But the action scenes were difficult to understand. Like I couldn't see who was punching who or who was doing what in the action scenes because there's so much blurring and so much like action lines and kind of this like, let's leave it unclear, but like imagine what happened kind of things. And I really don't like that because I one, I feel that it's lazy to not clearly define what is being done. But also I find it annoying that there's so many action lines that I can't see what I, what I want to see. And so, um, that was like mostly the number one drawback to the story. If they had done that slightly better, I would have definitely bought it physically. But uh, because they didn't like that, uh, I'm not going to buy it physically. It's just that easy. It's just that simple. If I have access to it already, there's no um, 
merit to buying it physically if I don't love it and I didn't love it, so I'm not gonna buy it physically. That might change if I read more of it. I might, you know, grow to love it more and so want it in my collection, but currently that is not the case. And so um, I liked it, but not that that much. That, that much. So um, that's all there is to it. Um, it is pretty funny though. So, um, you know, there is that, but it didn't really do enough for me, but it was cool. Uh, it kind of reminds me of Jackie Chan movies, which is fun. You know, there's this guy and he's like this hyper able martial artist, but he doesn't want to kill anyone and he uses everything that's in his surroundings. So in that sense, it's pretty cool. I just, I don't know, the fights were hard to follow. So that's all there is to that. Um, and yeah, that's all I have to say about this title. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please do a like, subscribe and comment down below. Let me know what you thought. And uh, thank you guys very much for watching. So see you guys later.